In question number three, you've been given a graph and you want the cosine function for that graph. Now, basically, we, since we have a min and max coordinate, we can, base, we can get all the parts of the trig function based on those two coordinates. And I've summarized some of the formulas here. So if we want the amplitude, amplitude is a distance. So what we want to do is subtract. So we subtract to get distance on the coordinate plane. So we subtract the y coordinates, y max and y min. That gets the distance between the max and min. If we divide it by two, we'll be able to calculate the a value or the amplitude. The d represents the middle point. So middle is average. So I'm going to add and divide by two. I'm going to add the two positions, divide by two. That gives me the middle line, which is the average. And if I want to get the period, the period is a distance. So again, I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract the x coordinate of the max and min. And since that represents half the period, okay, so this distance here represent, only represents half the period from here to here, we're going to times that by 2 to get the period. And then to get the b value, we're going to divide by the t. And then for the c, the horizontal shift in factored form, what we can do is use the horizontal, the max coordinate, the x coordinate of the maximum for cosine. And that gives us the horizontal shift. So if we take a look at that yellow dot here, that's the max point of a cosine, and that is the starting point of a cosine function. So then we can just plug all this stuff in. So if I want to get the amplitude, the amplitude is equal to the distance 10 minus negative 2. And that's going to give me a distance of 12 divided by 2 gives me an amplitude of 6. Okay, the middle the middle position or the vertical shift, I'm going to take the average of 10 plus negative 2. So halfway between 10 and negative 2 is going to be positive 4. So the middle line here is going to be at y equals 4. So it's going to go 6 up to 10, 6 down to negative 2. The period, we're going to calculate the period here. The period value is going to be half the distance from four, or sorry, double the distance from four to nine. So we're gonna subtract, so nine minus four, multiply that by two, so we end up with a period of 10. That means the b value is gonna be two pi over 10. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave it like that because in this form, I can see directly the, the period value. So the equation becomes six, times cosine, okay, the b value is 2 pi over 10. The horizontal shift is going to be the horizontal position of the max, so it's going to be 4, so it's going to be minus 4. And then getting the vertical shift, it's going to be 4 from the middle, so plus four. So there is my cosine equation.